Hey folks, it's Jim. Just thought I'd show the uh, little solar fountain on a lower setting. Um, if you'll notice, uh, I put this tube in and then a different top with more holes in it, which allow, which kind of drops the pressure a little bit and keeps the fountain lower, which then prevents uh, spray, which is going to empty your bird bath or whatever you're putting into it um, if the wind comes up. So this setting is a little more resilient to wind. Uh, I like it. I think I'm going to go with this uh, setting just because, uh, or this assembly I should say, it's not really a setting, it's an assembly that changes the uh, height of the fountain a bit. Before we were up to about here and I was getting a lot of spray over. You can see on the floor we've got uh, splashing down here. Um, so over time, uh, that's the only thing I can see with the fountains. Uh, they will eventually, um, you know, uh, your pond will empty uh, should it be windy and it's constantly getting blown over the side. Um, and most of this around it is splashing. So be aware of that too. You're going to have splashing. So make sure it's not in an area that you want, uh, you know, you need protected from water or whatever all the time um, or you don't want water on it which for me it's going to be out on the lawn so I'm not going to worry about it uh, but um, and I'm testing it here on the deck today uh, just to see uh, so I can monitor the splash and everything else to see how much water I'm losing per hour and whatnot and where and why the water is splashing out but overall, i got to be honest with you folks, I think this is a decent little product uh, that I like. It adds a nice sound. Sorry about the drilling going on next door. Uh, but um, it adds a nice sound. Uh, it uh, spruces up uh, my little garden spot where I'm putting it. And that's what this was all about, kind of sprucing up a little area. I had the bird bath uh, sitting around doing nothing. Uh, this particular one was in one of my sheds. So I thought I'd like to get it out and active, and uh, so, and I do like it. And again, this is the one with the battery. So there's one with one other ones out there without the batteries. But the neat thing is, this is the morning, and this thing's operating uh, great right now. So um, the ones without the battery, I don't know how well they would work. Um, of course, I haven't tried one. I went ahead and just bought the one with the battery because I thought it would. Uh, definitely perform better, especially if clouds were drifting by and, and things like that. But I think it adds a nice sound. You can't hear the fountain at all, but the water adds a nice sound to any little garden area. Um, and I, I actually am liking it. I uh, hope that it, they last. I don't know about longevity again because uh, I haven't had it very long, obviously. And um, they aren't expensive, and I also had a coupon on Amazon. Uh, I think I mentioned that in the last video. So for me, uh, the price that I got it at, I, for me it was worth the try, and I'm glad that I did it because I'm actually really enjoying this sound. So uh, anyway, just thought I'd share it with it. This is the lower setting. It has more jets, so it uh, reduces the pressure so we don't get as much elevation. The advantage is we're not going to get as much spray over, and we're not going to be as susceptible to wind to losing all our water in the bird bath. So just thought I'd share it. Uh, you know, this is the lowest setting, and then and the setting is only changed by changing the pieces, right? We're not actually changing motor speed, which I wish we could, but we can't. Um, so you know, these are low cost products. So uh, you know. Maybe somebody will come up with an adjustable speed, variable speed uh, motor, but that would be kind of hard to make waterproof, I think. Uh, but, um, you know, it is working. I like it, and I especially like the sound. It adds a really nice sound of that water. Uh, so, you know, if you got a little garden space and you want a little more serenity in it, uh, if you're a water person, uh, this definitely, I think, is worth it um, so far. I'll keep updating it. If it should fail, I will definitely update that. Uh, but there you go, the lower setting, uh, preventing splash, and uh, keeping our water in the bird bath. Because <laughs> the high setting, if a little wind comes up, it may just spray right over the side. So 
uh, that's just something for you to think about and I think this is plenty plenty high enough and plenty enough water sound uh, it works well for me so just thought I'd share it Jim out